can. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tyra, and I will be uh, uh, presenting Miss uh, Selena Agaton from MapDev Philippines, and she will be giving details for this part of the tour. Okay, thank you everybody uh, for coming and joining us on this Saturday morning. Um, just wanted to know, get to know everybody here. How many people here have lived or currently live in Quiapo? There's a good handful of people, that's great. How many people are here uh, from universities, students? Well, FEU, we can see here, yellow and green. Uh, how many people are here from business? Business people. From NGOs? From government? <laughs> Great. Okay, well, how many people here are just curious citizens? Ayan. Okay. Great. Okay, well, this, um, this whole gathering of people is exactly why we plan these James Walks. To have a really good mix of people, iba ibang klaseng tao, to come together to get to know the neighborhood better. Because these, these neighborhood stories really help make our community stronger and help us uh, work better together. So um, some of you might have heard about the mapping party or the campo party, but how many of you heard about James Walk? All right, okay. So a lot of um, the, many of the urban planning strategies and also policies really began with Jane Jacobs. So Jane Jacobs was an American and then she ended up um, in Toronto for many years of her life. So the way we've been planning cities, or maybe not planning them well, uh, many of the strong points about diverse neighborhoods, mixed-use buildings, and really vibrant communities with sidewalks, pedestrians, cyclists, not just focused on cars, and really focused on neighbors getting to know each other in close-knit communities, really began with Jane Jacobs. So Jane Jacobs um, was a self-taught journalist. She was a self-taught urban planner. And yet, she's one of the most influential thinkers in the field of creating healthy cities. And also, she, when she lived in Toronto for many years, she was also my neighbor. She was just a house uh, away from me. So this is actually a picture of her standing outside her garden in Toronto. This is her later years, of course. And that was my house right here. So I had the... You know, I had to hold myself from fangirling her every time I saw her on the sidewalk. Um, and then many of you might have seen on May 4, when you searched on Google. Did anybody see this on Google search? This particular Google Doodle? So yeah, this is Jane Jacobs. So you might be wondering on those Halloween parties, why are there people dressed up in these glasses? Because <laughs> they're dressed up as Jane Jacobs. So Jane Jacobs' point, just like the point that we have for this walk, is celebrating National Heritage Month, which is the entire month of May. And then also where we are in this specific day, right before our elections, is really to show that us, you and I here, can work better together from government to business to NGOs and to citizens. We can all help each other and work together better because regardless of the outcome of the election, Regardless of the many changes in leadership of our organization, but people come and go, things change. What we're trying to do is really help provide a friendly space for all those good things to happen. And that's what the introduction is to Map the Philippines, that's my t-shirt here. We'll be launching the official software very soon. But Map the Philippines is really a goal to help map the Philippines. And what do we mean by mapping the Philippines? So many parts of the country are largely unmapped, and what that means is those communities don't exist. From the government, to businesses, to NGOs, to um, community groups, all the people that are helping across business and NGOs and government to help our communities, they're all creating their own different maps, they're very expensive maps, and it's really hard to share the data. Even our national government agencies, government can't be everywhere, and it's a real challenge to keep data up to date. And that's why Map the Philippines is working together with government, with business, with NGOs, both locally and internationally, to produce one centralized, free and accessible map on OpenStreetMap. And we'll see some of our, our famous OpenStreetMap mappers. Can you raise your hands, guys? Who 
will be joining us on this tour today. So they're also going to help us tag the many neighborhood infrastructure that we see today to be able to help tell those stories. So when we need free and accessible maps, it means you can better navigate your neighborhoods. Many of you um, might not have heard of OpenStreetMap. How many people have heard of OpenStreetMap here? How many people have used Grab Taxi? Munch Punch. Uh, Foursquare. MapQuest. Okay, then you're already using OpenStreetMap because those tools are built on top of them. So what we're trying to do as the first step is to create that basic map. So like when you look on Google Maps and you see where the roads, the hospitals are, where the restaurants, we want to do that on OpenStreetMap because OpenStreetMap is supported by 3 million users globally. It's real time, so it's made by the community and for the community. So other tools, including Google, Google decides what's on a Google map and it requires licenses, uh, payment, usage, um, all these things that are restrictive to really helping create our own maps. And that's why we advocate for OpenStreetMap. So just some housekeeping things today. We'll be starting off the walk on beautiful San Sebastian Basilica very shortly. Um, we'll have a number of tour stops, chances for you to get some fans, get some drinks, get some snacks along the way. We'll have bathroom breaks throughout, so you'll be taken care of. And then I do hope, um, if, for folks that have only heard about the walking tour, we do have a free lunch, as well as a mapping party at Far Eastern University at FBU's Tech Building on Paredes Street. So at the end of this walk, we'll also be heading there where you can join us for some first air conditioning. Uh, next lunch, and then it's on the rooftop, so it's a beautiful view of Manila. So as you hear all the beautiful places and spaces here, all the history and um, the community needs during this walk, then we'll move it to the future, the future of Kiapo. So we'll be doing the past and the present, and the future of Kiapo is with the technology we'll be using to help update um, the data with our partners from Wikipedia, with OpenStreetMap, with sharing your photos, um, everything that you can do to help contribute uh, to tell the stories of this wonderful and vibrant Kapo community. So um, next, I will turn it over to Tina Paterno. She's the executive director of the San Sebastian Conservation Foundation. Um, and she has roots in the community as well. And I'll turn it over to her. Thank you very much. Sorry, 